It's another edition of Time About the Movies, and today we're taking a look at the movies of July 8th, 1994. Or in this case, the movie of July 8th, 1994, because we only have one movie to look at that came out this weekend. And um, it was one of the biggest hits of the year, and it would eventually go on to win the year's Best Picture Award at the Academy Awards. It is of course, Tom Hanks starring in Forrest Gump. Hello, my name's Forrest, Forrest Gump. Would you like a chocolate? Oh, thank you. It's funny what a young man recollects. You're the same as everybody else. You are no different. Your boy's different. Are you stupid or something? I'm as stupid as a stupid does. I'm Jenny. I'm Boris, Boris Scott. She was my most special friend. My only friend. We was together all the time. We were like peas and carrots, Jenny and I. you but i can run like the wind blows who in the hell is that now there's false gum coach just a local idiot <laughs> i never thought it would take me anywhere david put me on a thing called the all america team <laughs> well you get to meet the president of the united states congratulations how does it feel to be an all american i got a pay. I believe he said he had to go be. Now, maybe it's just me, but college was very confusing times. Have you ever been with a girl, Forrest? I sit next to them in my home economics class all the time. Have you given any thought to your future? Girl, what's your sole purpose in this army? To do whatever you tell my drill sergeant? You're a damn genius. You are going to be a general someday, girl. Yes, drill sergeant! They sent me. Vietnam. I need to promise me something, okay? If you're ever in trouble, don't try to be brave. You just run, okay? Okay. Where are you boys from in the world? Alabama, sir. You twins? No, we are not relations, sir. For some reason, what I was doing seemed to make sense to people. Forget about me, get your stuff out! I've been awarded the Medal of Honor. How come? Now, my mama's always telling me how miracles happen every day. <laughs> Some people don't think so, Jenny! but they do. You can come home with me to my house in Greenbow. I'll take care of you. Why are you so good to me? You're my girl. Paramount Pictures presents Tom Hanks. I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is. Robin Wright. Will you marry me? I'd make a good husband, Jenny. You would, Forrest. But you won't marry me. Gary Sinise. I never thanked you for saving my life. And Sally Field. My boy Forrest is going to get the same opportunities as everyone else. A film by Robert Zemeckis. What's my death? Say, Mom. You're going to have to figure that out for yourself. <laughs> seen the same once you've seen it through the eyes of Forrest Gump. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. The trailer was almost as long as the movie itself was, but um, yeah, it was a long trailer and um, uh, you could say that it gave away a lot of the movie, but, um, you know what, the movie ended up being pretty damn good. Not just damn good, but one of the year's best movies. This is one of those best picture winners where I think the Academy got it right. I mean, there was a lot of good movies that came out in 1994, and this was one of those movies where it was nominated, and if it would have won, and if it would have won, I think a lot of people wouldn't have minded because they really loved it. And it did, and it eventually has held on over the last 30 years. It's a movie that is one of Robert Zemeckis' best movies. I mean, you could definitely see the ambition that's in this movie and the way that he uses the visual effects in here 
to incorporate Tom Hanks into this archival footage where he's hanging out with John, John F. Kennedy, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Richard Nixon. I mean, this is some pretty good visual effects that, are, that still hold up very well almost 30 years later, especially when you compare it to what Robert Zemeckis has been doing lately. But, um, I mean, honestly, there's really not a whole lot you can really say about this movie that hasn't been said. But um, I'll try to say some stuff. Uh, for one thing, um, this is one of those movies where the this fit differs heavily from the book that it's based off of, where the book has actually been known to be pretty terrible. I've never read it before, but everybody I talk to, whenever I see hear, see people talk about the books and t tell people about the book, says the book is not very that is not very good. And so the movie did a pretty good job. Of, I'm I'm assuming of updating the story a lot more. And it really works because of Tom Hanks' perf perfection to this performance. I mean, he's really giving it his all in this movie. Giving a very solid performance, a very earnest performance. It doesn't feel like he's forcing this role to be a, an oscar baitish type of performance. He's giving an earnest, honest performance. And it definitely shows. He has to play this character through several different decades, different pieces of life, and how the way the, the, way the world has been going, going like going from the fifth, the forties, the fifties, the sixties, the seventies to today, and he does a pretty good job. I don't think it's his one. I don't think it's one of his greatest performances overall. Like I think, I think of when I think of great Tom Hanks performances, I think of stuff like uh, Castaway, which is another Robert Zemeckis film. Uh, the movie he did prior to this, Philadelphia, is a great movie. Big. Uh, this is definitely up there, though. This is definitely up in the top five, to, top five performances of his, and. Um, He's got a great cast to work with. I mean, you got Robin Wright Penn, uh, Gary Sinise, Micheletti Williamson, Sally Field. Just a phenomenal cast involved here. And everybody is given these great performances that are making it work to a T. And it's just a solid epic film. It's a nice, it's a modern epic film. Like, it doesn't have the same kind of epic. It's not an epic in the way of something like Spartacus or uh, Lawrence of Arabia, those movies. But it's a different kind of epic story. It's kind of a kind of a reminiscence of something like maybe Citizen Kane, where it's epic, but it doesn't feel like it's being overbloated or too or too much for you. Like, you're really invested throughout the course of this movie. There's not a whole lot of dull spots in here, and you just really get involved with it, and it makes you think. It's a movie that really makes you think. It, it's a movie that really makes you evaluate things about it. There's a lot of interpretations you can make with it. It's a movie that keeps you guessing as it goes along, like... Like, how is this movie transpiring? Like, how is this movie going to end with him reflecting on this life? Like, what's the main purpose of it? And when it gets to that main purpose, it works out really well. It's a movie that I think really, really has held up very well over the test of time. It's a movie that I definitely could see why it won Best Picture. It's definitely a movie that captured a lot of people's hearts, captured a lot of people's thoughts about the world, captured a lot of people's ambitions, interests, interpretations... It's just a solid film on so many levels, and really, I don't really think I can add any more to it that hasn't really been said already about this film. It's a classic film for a number of reasons. It's a movie you can go back to any time and get really invested in it. It's one of Robert Zemeckis' best movies overall. This was right at his peak as a filmmaker, and it just holds up all these many years later. The great music, the great score, the great soundtrack, the great uh, acting, the great writing the great visual effects. It's just a solid film that just keeps you invested all throughout the course of the film. And it's just... It's just an amazing movie. I can't recommend it enough. Forrest Gump, you should have seen it by now. If you haven't, go out there and see it, man, because you are missing out on something very, very special. So with that said, we wrap up another edition of Time About the Movies. Next time we meet, we'll take a look at the middle of July. We've got uh, four movies to look at, including Arnold Schwarzenegger and James Cameron reuniting for the first time since Terminator 2 with True Lies. We also have Disney's baseball foot remake, Angels in the Outfield. Uh, we also have Spanking the Monkey and the re-release of Dr. Strangelove or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. So we'll look at four movies next time. But until then, thank you very much for watching. And if you want to see more videos like this, uh, please hit the playlist on the next page. Check out the previous episode. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another episode. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, as always, take care.